The cheer from this group of artists and photographers is the result of a fulfilling day. One that has seen them bring hope through art, color, imagination into a community that could do with some of each. Spam School Africa is um, a volunteer driven organization um, that provides education for children living in slums and remote communities and communities like this. And uh, we are an organization that's, that, that brings together lots of professional volunteers irrespective of your career path or your profession. And what we saw today was you know, professional photographers, professional artists, professionals from all walks of life, creative arts, coming together to use their skills and their talents to give the children a memorable day. This art that has gone on for the past five years with the children and youth of Makoko, a suburb of Lagos, popular for its fishing and logging activities, being the target. What we usually do is um, get professional volunteers to take professional pictures of our beneficiaries. And these kids come from you know, not so well-developed communities. And so it's always very good to have them, you know, give them the opportunity to have memorable pictures. You know. And so this year, we are not only taking uh, pictures of the children, but also, you know, giving the school um, you know, facelifts and making the school more beautiful. You know. And so uh, primarily what we, what, what, we, what we did was get uh, volunteers, get partners, you know, who came from InterSwitch, volunteers from InterSwitch, to come into school and we did a whole makeover, painting and doing lots of artworks to make the school environment more beautiful and more exciting for the children. It gives those, these kids that are exposed to this the opportunity to meet uh, a lot of established artists and photographers, especially. And then they, they kind of have that, um, you know, uh, dream that someday they will want to be like, you know, uh, Bayo or Jodo Sodi or Tiwabeli or whoever, because they have the opportunity to have a contact with them. So, and also, because we are here, we are very prone and very open to do our best to support these kids in their various um, desire and um, interest in art, you know, and in photography, you know. So, for them to have this first experience with us, it's so unique and important to them and uh, we are very, very open to support and encourage them in the best way we can to make sure that uh, if any of these young kids who tomorrow chooses to become a photographer, we are there, you know, to, to support and to meet that kid. The project is all about getting them to believe in their ability to create anything their minds dream of putting out through art and photography. Creative arts is very important and that's why we have this kind of event to make children understand that um, the career paths are not just medicine and engineering and you know, accountancy and, and law and all of the professional you know, blue and white collar jobs. But creativity is also very key and innovation is you know, taking, taking, taking over. And so photography, creative arts, you know, things like painting and all of that, if you do it properly, it could make you a huge, you know, a huge living and you can, make, you can make a huge living out of it. And so um, I think lots of children are very excited. We saw a three or four year old girl who's, a, who's already a photographer. You know, we've seen lots of children who are six, four, five, seven years old who are already very good artists and graffiti, you know, um, artists. And I think it's, um, it's, 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 it's very important that we try to invite such cultures in our children and make them understand that, you know, whatever talent you have and whatever skill you have, you can make the best out of it. The school is getting a makeover with bright, smiley colors and nature. Expelling any dullness on the walls and making the sight of dusty, broken and missing lovers a little more pleasant. It's so important because there's, there's a, a community that have come up to identify with children and give them a kind of uh, hope for the future. So it's quite um, interesting to be part of that photographic community that 
took it upon himself to recognize that kids are key to every economy. And then it's nice to give them succor and give them hope and make them feel loved. You know, uh, there is nothing much more amazing and uh, unique than when you have children uh, being cared for. You can see the hard work that are done to inspire kids. You can see um, the train, the school children, the knowledge is power, the exercise books, showing graduation. You know, these are all hard works to inspire the children and to know that impossible is nothing that whatever it is they set your mind to, they can actually achieve it. And then when they look at those walls, it, it's colorful. It just, it just makes learning a lot easier for them. The volunteers this year are grateful for the opportunity to be a part of this mentorship program. This is a very, very bold step in helping form the identity in the minds of these children. You know, this, is, this shows you how powerful art is. When artists come together, and we, 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 we have one goal, which is to influence, you know, the mind of a young Nigerian child. This shows you how, much, how far we can go. We believe as young people, energetic people, who photography has been able to make successful, we can also come back and add value. And for me, I also believe um, there's nothing as important as contributing to national development in our own capacity. And you know, it, it also inspires me to tell as many people as possible that I think the most important thing about life is giving back. We need to let our children also know that impossible is nothing. They can actually be anything. We need to be cautious of what we say to them. We need to be sensitive to the environment. I mean, look at this environment now. It's better than it was before. And kids would actually be inspired to learn in this environment. The day ends with a feast. Many of us never knew we could be who we are today, but with um, consistency, passion, and then an advice to the parents, don't give up on your child. No matter how bad or you know, the child might seem now, keep investing in that child, keep pushing that child, keep supporting that child. Only God knows the future. The child might be the next big thing that Nigeria has been waiting for, or the world at large has been waiting for. So keep the child for the children, let them keep giving their best. Keep believing, keep hoping for a brighter future. And I can bet you the future is bright and there is hope for this country. Where everyone shares in the communion of cliques that will remain treasured images for a long time to come. <laughs>